Welcome to Life in Abundance with Pastor Joseph from Forward in Faith Ministries. Pastor Joseph shares the secrets to enjoying the life that Jesus made available for you and I. Life in Abundance. Enjoy and be inspired. This week we are talking about the habit of writing. The habit of writing. Let's take our scripture from the book of Habakkuk chapter 2 verse number 2. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2. The scripture reads, And the Lord answered me, Write the vision and make it plain on tablets, so he may run who reads it. And the Lord answered me, Write the vision and make it plain on tablets, so he may run who reads it. We are talking about the habit of writing. The habit of writing. The Lord is giving an instruction here to the prophet Habakkuk to capture the vision by writing it down. Now Habakkuk was being instructed to write down the vision. We can learn a very important principle and skill in our lives of writing. Why did the Lord instruct him specifically to write it down? Why not just memorize it? Why not just keep it in his head? There's something peculiar with writing. Writing things down has tremendous benefits to our lives. Firstly, when we write things down, we declutter our minds. You see, our minds on every given day experiences information overload. We have so many appointments to keep up with. We have so much news to follow up. We have uh, so many ideas that come up in our minds. We have so much communications going on throughout the day. So our minds experience information overload. And by taking some of those things out of our minds and putting them on paper or on your notepad, it declutters your mind. It frees up your mind to think better. Have you noticed it is very easy to feel overwhelmed by simply three or four tasks that have to be done in a day. But when you write those things down, you feel relieved, you feel better, you feel much achieved or even accomplished by just writing things down. So number one, when you write things down, it declutters your mind. It frees your mind to think better. Secondly, when you write things down, you capture important thoughts and ideas. Oh, I've been there where you have a very good thought, a very good idea that comes into your mind, but you don't capture it, you don't write it down. And a day later, or even in the same day, a few hours later, you are trying to remember what was that I was thinking about. I had a very good point to to put down on my journal, on my uh, assignment, on my thesis or whatever, but the thought is gone. Why? Because it was not captured. So writing things down helps us to capture important thoughts and ideas. Thirdly, writing things down helps us in organizing our thoughts and our actions. You see, when we have a lot of things to be done and they have not been properly organized or put down on paper, you don't know where to start. You don't know which one to give priority. But when you put them down on paper, you can focus on them from another perspective and deal with them in an organized manner. Writing things down also improves our memory. Psychologists have shown that when you write something, you give your brain an experience rather than just thinking about it. So when you write things down, it's more of an experience. And whatever you experience sticks much better in your mind than what you have just heard or thought about. So you improve your memory by writing things down. And lastly for today, Writing things down helps us to stay focused. The scripture we have read, God is calling upon the prophet to write the vision down so that those who read may run. You see, when you have your vision laid down, written down clearly, it's easy to check on back and read through so that you can see if you are progressing in the right direction or not. But if it's not written down, you have the the luxury of changing the details at any given time. So writing things down helps you to stay focused. Staying focused on the vision, staying focused on the tasks of the day. It's very important that we cultivate the habit of writing things down. 
Now what do we write? Somebody may ask. Write down the vision. As the scripture is said, first and foremost, learn to write your vision down. Secondly, write down your goals. What do you want to be achieving at this particular time? What are you working towards? Write down your goals. Write down your plans. What's the plan for the day? What's the plan for the week? Write down your plans. Write today to-do list. Very important that you tackle your day in a very articulate manner. Write it down. What are you going to do today at what time? Write to-do lists. Write also ideas. Capture ideas that come to your mind. Write ideas and thoughts. And lastly, write down your experiences. They call it journaling. Write your experiences. What have you gone through in the day? What have you experienced? What were your uh, exciting moments? What were your sad moments? Capture them in a journal. It is important to write things down. Learn to write things down. God instructed the prophet, write the vision down. Make it plain. God bless you so much. Have a blessed week. Till we meet again next week. Keep living life in abundance.